What up ladies and gents, this is going to be my season 3 alt gearing or new character gearing guide, that kind of thing. A lot of people have been asking, oh what do I do with my new character, how do I gear up, oh, I feel so bad. Anyway, this is what you do, it's not that long. Getting best gear takes a while, getting usable gear does not take that long. Um, so there's a few things that you need to do and I will show you that now. So we're going to start off with, you've, you've just dinged, you've got... Shit, yeah, shit green gear. Okay, fine. Whatever happens. And first thing you want to do is you want to spend time farming the rep. You want to farm the rep from Caverns of Time. You want to farm Shatar. You want to farm Lower City. You want to farm Scenarian. And you want to farm... What's the last one? Honor Hold slash Thrallmar. Got there in the end. So, Scenarian is really easy. Scenarian, you just want to hand in the plant parts... If you, if you were smart, you did it before you did the quests. If you haven't done the quests yet, hand in the plant parts. If you're, if you're, if you CBA finding a group, you can go and do the quests after you hand in the plant parts. You go the, you go to honored with plant parts, then you get a bunch of extra items. You hand those in once you're honored. Then once you've done the quests, you'll be revered. Done. Next, on a hold, you have a bunch of quests done in Hellfire. Once you've done all those, you can farm the rest in Shattered Halls. Uh, you can do this with like a spell cleave group or whatever. Uh, Shatar, you do Botanica runs, you spam Botanica, you get your, which brings me to Trinket 1, you get your, wait, it's probably here somewhere, isn't it? No, it's going to be really annoying. You get your Bangle from doing this. Super, that's our first Trinket. Uh, and this will get you revered as well. If you're really unlucky, you need to keep doing more to get Bangle, essentially. It's going to be your first Trinket that you're going to use, and it's going to be very good. This is how you get revered with Shatar. I hope you get lucky. You can also do some Architraz runs if you want. Uh, there is a cloak from Architraz that is really nice, right? So while you're farming rep, you could you can cheekily do Architraz at the same time as Botanica. If you get the bangle already, do some Architraz runs before you revered. That is, you can pick this up. This is this is handy to grab. So you've got two two solid items already if you do that. Uh, then you've got your Shatara revered. Uh, the other ones are Shadow Labs. You want to do Shadow Labs, and you can actually get Shadow Labs boosts, I believe. But you wanna you wanna at least kill the first boss of Shadow Labs because he drops a wand, which is gonna be handy for you. You want this wand. It's good for a long time. Really good stats on it. We like. Uh, and then you're gonna get revered doing Shadow Labs. What was the other one? Caverns of Time. Okay, Caverns of Time is just a ball like all round. There's nothing good from there. Um, I think you need Revered to do the attunement for BT. But we don't care that much about Shadows of Time. The main the main reason you want a Revered with Shadows of Time... It, it's not Shadows of Time, what am I saying? Caverns of Time. The main reason you want Revered is, is because you can get Mooncloth legs from there. And this is the other reason why we got those reps, right? I was saying about it earlier. Because once you're revered, you can buy these. Wait, these. All right, it's PvP gear, but you don't have to farm honor for it. Which takes a lot more time. So we want the legs. We want the chest. This is honor hold revered, look. This one was caverns of time revered. Now, you have two options on the shoulders and the, hem, uh, and the hands. You can go for the mooncloth ones. If you really want the, uh, the four set. Which is okay. Or you can go for Saturn. Now, I recommend going for Saturn early on because you're going to have really low resilience. And this is going to give you the double... Wait, this was the incorrect one. My bad. It's this one. Um, yeah, you're going to have really low resilience. So having the double resilience set bonus is going to help with that. All right. So this is this is kind of where you're at at this point. Now next you want to start farming honor. And you want to buy the season 3 honor gear. Don't buy a gear this season. Don't don't waste your honor on that. You can buy a trinket if you want. This is probably the first thing you want to buy, right? You want to get one of these. Cool. So now you've got one of those. You are farming honor, you're farming honor, you're farming honor. You're stacking that shit up for season 3. If it's season 3 already high from the past um, when it's season three, you want to buy this bad boy, 
right? You buy the veterans, pendant of salvation. You want to buy the wrists. If you're alliance, you can buy the belt, right? If you are lazy or horde, you can go for the NG belt. This is going to be helpful for you when you have no gear. So I think this is a completely fine option too. You will want the belt eventually if you're alliance, so I recommend farming it too. But you don't have to farm it straight away. Now, feet. You want to go for Boots of the Long Road. This is a pattern that you can get off the auction house, right? If you're lazy and don't want to bother with doing tailoring, okay, don't bother going for them. You can wait. You can go for something from Karazhan. You know, if you do a cheeky Karazhan run, you can get some other stuff. Um, and that's fine. If you don't want to do any sort of raids, all right, we're going to start off with that. And I'll, I will do no raids and we'll see what we can get. So you can start with Boots of the Long Road. And you actually don't need to do any raids for this. You just need to level tailoring and you need to get two nethers. And then you can make these, and these are really good boots. And then you're chilling. I also forgot a PvP ring, I'm sorry. Uh, that is just... This one. Um, don't bother getting the second ring, I would say, because it's going to cost you a bunch more honor, and it's going to be a ball lake. You can do it if you want to. You can go for the veteran's ring, right? The season 2 ring. And then go season 2 ring, season 3 ring. Um... Without PvEing, that might actually be your best option, come to think of it. If not, you can get, like, the badge ring, but it's going to be a lot quicker for you to just go Karazhan and at least once. So I, I do recommend doing Karazhan. Uh, but yeah, you can go for badge ring. I'll put badge ring on there for now, and then we'll talk about Karazhan. Let's do that. So we've got the badge ring. Um, there's, there's probably better stuff, but it's kind of whatever. So for now, we've got badge ring on there, and we've got our Vindicators. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this side. Now, main hand, off hand, and head are still to go. So head, we are NG. Oh, yeah, I forgot to talk about Boots of the Long Road. This is a fucking mess. Um, so, yeah, you just get your two nethers. You make your Boots of the Long Road. Uh, because you're revered, you can do your heroics. You make these bad boys, and then you respec out of tailoring, and you go enchanting. Because you don't actually need tailoring to use them. And you can whack on your four stat enchants on these. Nice. Um, so that's that's once you've got enchanting. So now you've got NG. So you start with NG tailoring, make the boots, drop tailoring, get enchanting, and then you're good to go. Helm. Uh, we can go for the NG helm. If you do not want to raid, that's okay. I'm not sure if this is the right one, but whatever one is available, the best one you can make, make that. Uh, and that's going to be pretty good. It's not going to be as good as the PvE options, but we'll get there in a minute. And then, this is this is all, like, no raids done. We literally just farmed our rep. We farmed our honor. That's it, right? Main hand and off hand. This bit is probably going to be annoying. Uh, it's season three, so you can potentially buy the gladiator's bits for honor. But again, it... You don't want to be stuck farming so much honor, you know? It's it's a pain in the ass, especially for stuff that you're going to replace. So if you are not raiding, you can farm the heroic uh, Shadow Lab one. It's fine. Um, what else? You could... Actually, this might be a, a shout. You could go for the Gavel of Pure Light with the Shatar Exalted. If you have done more Shatar stuff, to get exalted, you can grab this. And that's probably the best thing that's available without doing any sort of raiding. There is definitely an easier way, which we will get to in a minute. I'll put, I'll put that for now since we're doing a no raiding set. And then... Probably the Wind Caller's Orb, honestly. Uh, we can also go... Lord Aaron Medical Journal is okay as well. But this is the thing, right? You don't want to be stuck farming a million dog shit dungeons. If you get this, you can use this. If not, you can go for, like, Windcaller's Orb. This is, again, this is from Exalted Scenarian, so it's a ball like to get. I'm just going to put Lord Aaron Medical Journal for now because it's going to be the most accessible, I would say. But it's a mu it's much more of a ball like to go and farm, you know, these rep items, dungeon items, or a random drop chance. It's much more reliable to do a carrot each week if you can and if you do that these are the items that are available to you right you can go for the t4 helm right you can go for prince cloak 
And and these may not all drop for you, right? But this is just an example of some stuff that you want to go for if you can. You go for Light's Justice. You go for Signet from Morose. Uh, and you're going to go for the Ring. It's going to be... So it's most likely going to be the the Violet Signet of the Grand Restorer. You can also go, if you did Karazhan, you can also potentially do Mag and Gruul. And we're going to limit it at that, I think. I don't think we're going to do any TK stuff because that gets out of hand. If you want to look at TK stuff, maybe look at the Season 2 best list. I'll put a link in the description. If you're doing BT, then the Season 3 best list is going to be more up your alley for the PvE items. But for now, we're just going to look at Season 1 stuff. You can you can get attuned even and get the band of a attorney. Either is fine. Uh, let's just chuck that on because that's probably going to be easiest to get. This is literally from killing what Mag and and um, and Nightbane, right? To get attuned or the, or the attunement quest for uh, for Hyjal, I think it was. Wait, that's the wrong one, isn't it? What am I talking about? Just go for the bat Narrow's Light World and Band. That's fine. Um, so, now we have our rep off parts, we have our belt, we have our boots for the long road, and again, if you don't want to craft these, you can just go for these, right, from Karazhan, and this is literally doing a couple of Karazans, most people won't need this gear, you know, try and, try and get some mates together, do a few Karazans, it's going to help you out massively, you can also go for if you don't get Bangle, you can pick up one of these. Wait, where is it? Feels blind, man. A Pendant of the Violet Eye from Aran. This is okay, too. Uh, there are no really good ones from Karazhan. You can go for the Blue Diamond Witch Wand, but it's very rare. So I'm going to leave Soul Wand on there for now because the blue diamond which one is is unrealistic to get and we want to create sort of a realistic alt gearing path so we've kind of done two stages now right we've got we started off with the rep we got the rep gear then we did our honor gear and then we got our cara gear which again i recommend doing you can get that stuff from dungeons but it's better if you do it like this now at this point and you could have done some arena games before this, and I'm sure you will have. I'm sure you've been itching to play. You want to do at least, you know, you want to try and push to at least, I don't know, whatever, 1,600 the first week with your complete trash dog shit gear, at least with a trinket, right? You want to get the trinket at least and the belt at least. I would say that's the two main biggest things. And then your rep gear will come slowly. You, you cure arena when you want. And... As your gear increases, your rating will go up. But if you're at least getting some points the first week, that's good. Now, th the first thing you want to buy with your points, I would say, is the legs. Right? And this is kind of like step two. Like we did pseudo step two earlier. This is real step two, right? You want to buy the legs. And the reason you want to buy the legs... You can find them. Is because the Mooncloth leggings actually don't have any regen on. So the upgrade is very nice on the gladiators piece. So we go for the gladiator piece first. Second piece we want to go for is the chest. For the same reason. It's going to be vengeful. Did I put gladiator on? I'm fucking bad. It's going to be it's going to be vengeful. Sorry about that. Um Keep in mind, in, in Season 3, I believe you can actually buy the Gladiator gear for Honor. So if you do want to farm more Honor and replace your rep gear with some Honor gear before you place it with, re replace it with Arena gear, be my guest. If it's an ult, you probably don't have time. It's a lot of Honor to farm. Honor is real slow. So you're most likely going to be going from the blue to the vengeful. Same thing for the robe. That's merciless. Feels blind, man. Okay. Because, again, it has regen on. We like. Uh, and then next, we're going to go for gloves. And we're going to go for the Mooncloth gloves, not the Satin gloves. Now, the gloves are a tricky part, right? I would recommend trying to make a fives team. Because you're going to get a lot more points in fives than you are in twos or threes. 
Twos or threes might be all right early, very, very early on when you can't find people because your gear is so bad. But if you've got any gear at all, or you've got some friends, try to do fives. You can push it up to like 1800, 2K, and you're going to get a good amount of points from that, you know, approaching 1K, if not 1K a week. And that is going to be a lifesaver for you. Try and just get get it to the rating. Do 10 games a week. It's it's a bit of a chore, but the point is, is worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. Because this is where it gets a bit annoying. And you can actually potentially swap your shoulders out for the moon cloth ones here actually i would i would suggest doing that be buy the vengeful gloves then you go to the rep vendor and you buy the moon cloth shoulders maybe you can buy them at the start and this is gonna no in fact it does it won't even get you your four set because it's not gladiator i thought for a second it would uh you can still do this because you don't need the satin anymore um the other option you can do is you can wait you can buy your vengeful gloves and then you can wait and not equip them. And it's going to be painful, right? Because they're a nice upgrade. But you can wait until you can buy the shoulders too and then upgrade them both at once. To get the four set. So, personal preference. If you feel like you're not missing the resilience from the two set, whack them on. It's completely up to you. And that is kind of stage two of, you know, getting some gear together on uh, on your fresh ult. Shouldn't take too long. Farming rep doesn't take too long. The main thing that's going to take time is farming the honor and then, you know, a few weeks to get these four items from Arena. And then once you've got these items, you're actually pretty set. You can push fairly well with this, I would say. You know, you're not missing that much in the way of stats. Yeah, okay, you're not biscuit. That's going to take some more time. Uh, keep in mind you can also use bangle here. I would say bangle for twos uh, and then pendant for threes if you've got it. I'm going to put bangle on because you're probably going to be using it more. Um, and then in the way of enchants, it's going to be it's going to be the same as the bisless, right? It's going to be standard. Uh, we're going to do hit on the helm. We're going to do... We're going to do insightful because you want the mana. And we're going to do hit on the gloves. I'm all over the place at the moment. Sorry about that. Spell strike. So this is going to get us 2.3 hit. We want to put one more hit gem somewhere. It's going to be the shoulders because we're not ever going to swap the shoulders off. Now, if you want to use the BT gems, if you've got the gold, go for it. It's not imperative. I'm going to just chuck them on for now. You might like you might miss a tiny bit of hit if you go for a non epic gem. So I suggest if you're going to go for any epic gem, do it on the hit one because you're going to be just under 3% otherwise with the 8 hit rating gem. And then reds are just going to be royals. I'll just put in the crap gems for now. Um or yeah, to be honest, I'll just put in the crap gems. Wait, that's not it. Choking. Royal Knight's Eye. Just because we're doing budget. And then we're going to go Mystics in the chest. Uh, and we're going to go, how much resilience are we at? Let's take a look. So we're at 244, isn't it? So yeah, we want all the mystics we can get at this point. And the reason we're so low on resilience, and this is what I was talking about a bit earlier, the reason we're so so low on resilience is because we have the, the energy belt on. So you can you can do two things. You can swap the belt out if you feel comfortable. Or you can put a second PvP ring on. And this will bring your resilience up nicely. Now remember we can put 15 on the chest as well. And this should actually nearly get us up to 300. Where is it? Okay. Uh, and we'll just do the rest of the enchants really quickly. So we're going to have pen and cloak. And we're going to have the standard shoulder enchant. Aldor, if you can. 
Uh, we've got a blue gem socket up here. Most likely you're going to want to put a spirit gem in that. If you are feeling uncomfortable, you can chuck a resilience one in there. Keep that in mind. It does come down to like personal feel. Now our healing is quite low. So on the best list, I was actually talking about putting healing on... Um, sorry, putting MP5 on braces. I'm actually going to put healing on it here. I'm going to put healing on the weapon. And uh, yeah, I will link the, the Season 3 best list in the description if you're interested in that. I'll go into a lot more detail on that one. Golden Spell Thread on the legs. And Boar Speed on the boots. Uh, and I take it back, I'm actually going to put healing on the rings. I think with this low healing, you're going to benefit from it. Because we're about 200 healing under where we should be, and you're definitely going to notice it. Uh, yeah, so that's it. That's that's your sort of step two gear. Again, step one, farm your rep and your honor. And do Karazhan. And that's going to get you the full thing. Uh, doing your professions, whether that be NG straight into enchanting, or NG tailoring and then enchanting. That's your uh, up to you. If you've got the goal to do it, by all means, go nuts. And then step two is obviously getting that arena gear on. And, you know, as you get more honor, you're going to be getting the weapon uh, and then the offhand and the wand. I actually recommend getting the offhand and wand before you get the weapon because they're quite cheap and they're very good. So you can actually go for these second even. So you could go for like the chest and legs and then straight away go for the offhand and wand and it's not bad either. And you're going to be feeling a lot more comfortable resilience wise if you do that. And you can you can leave this on a lot of the time, you know, you can leave this on if you want. The other wand is not that good. So yeah, I, I you know, what? I've changed my mind. You go for the legs, chest, then you go for the offhand wand and then you go for the glove shoulders. Um, or you go for the weapon and then glove shoulders, depending on how much points you're getting. Because the weapon is a nice upgrade. Did I do Merciless? No, I did Venture. Okay, good. Yeah, the weapon is a nice upgrade from the Light's Justice. 80 extra healing is, uh, is hefty. So, for 3.1k 3. points, it's going to be a few weeks to get that. So, if you want to get faster upgrades, you can do the shoulders and gloves first. I, I would say maybe do the weapon. If it was me, I think I would do, I would do offhand one, then weapon. <coughs> Um, I think I've rambled way too long. I'm really sorry. This should have been way more structured. But I hope you get the idea. I hope it makes sense. It's it's not that complicated. If you've got any other suggestions, check them in the description. Happy to hear them. Um, always always interested to talk about the uh, these sort of theory crafting things. I will put the. Uh, the 70 upgrades link in the description as well have a good christmas i might release this on christmas i don't know we'll see that's it that's it that's the video